All right, guys, let's continue our tutorial. And today we will talk about how we can give access to Google Analytics API to our Google Analytics dashboard. So actually, if you work with Google Analytics, you know that you can give access to different people. You can give access to your data from your Google Analytics account to somebody else who has a Google account. Now, to be able to access your Google Analytics data using Google API, we have to create another service account and that service account will be used by Google Analytics API and we will give access to our dashboard data to this Google um, service account. So it's like we create another account for Google API and then from our dashboard, we just give access to this account we, we just created. And also we will install today the Composer and we will use it to download the Google Analytics API PHP library. And to get started, let's go on google.com .com and let's search here for hello analytics PHP already searched it before. And then there's a link and click on it. It calls Hello Analytics API PHP Quick Start for Service Accounts. Now here we have the instruction on how to how to do what I just told you about service account, how to register a service account, and how to install the Google Client Library, and how to set up the samples. And there is an example right here where you can see how to get um, some data from your Google Analytics using this library. And, and let's go ahead and create our service account. If you see here, create a client ID. So just click on this service account page link. You have to log in to your Google account before you do that. And on this page, just click on create a service account. Let's create one. And let's choose a name, let's say GA tutorial API click on create we're waiting a little bit here and then we should create another service we should create another service account management so let's click create service account and here we choose um, a name, let's say um, GA API. And then below here we can see where the service account ID, just leave it like, like it is. And then just choose the furnish a new private key and here choose the JSON key type. It's, it's also recommended. We will work this time with, with JSON. You also can choose the G Suite and, and do all the stuff, but in this video, we will use just the private key. We will have to, I mean, we will download a JSON file. After I will click Create here, and on the next page, we will our browser will download a JSON file. That That's going to be a JSON file, and in that file, we will have all the data we need to access the Google API. So there will be the private key and the Google uh, Google account ID and the different, different data that Google needs to access the data from our Google Analytics dashboard. So let's click on create. And now you see here we have a pop-up and it tells new service account GA API has been created. And then the accounts private key GA tutorial PAI, <laughs> PAI, I, I think, has been saved on your computer. This is the only copy of the key, so store it securely. Close this window, and here, if you check your browser, you can see that you already have a, a file like that. Just open your folder where you have your dolons, and copy this file, and go to your main folder in my case it's htdocs because I work with XAMPP and then in this folder create another folder which is Google 
and paste this file in this Google folder. Go back to your Moin folder and then go back to, to your Google page. And if you look at this, if you look at this account, you can see that where is the service account ID. This is like an email. And now let's copy this email because this is the email for our service account. You copy this email and then go to your Google Analytics dashboard. Let me go again. Analytics.google.com. Click enter. And now go to your admin tab on the left side. You see there is an admin link. Click on that. And then on the third column there is uh, there is user management. Click on that user management. And here, from here you give access to different people. You have to have their email. So that's why we copied the previous, the previous email here because we want to give access from our Google Analytics dashboard to this service account we just created. So just copy that email and paste it here. And now here we leave just read and analyze for now and click add. So we see now this email there it shows like uh, people who has permission who have permission to our to, to read or analyze or any other permission they have for our Google Analytics data. Now let's go ahead let's install the composer so just go on google and type there composer php it should be the getcomposer.org website and here just click on composer setup application and then go to your Dolan's folder and you can see it here double click on it click next and then next I already have it on my computer so I won't install it again but you just follow the instruction and install it and now let's check the instruction a little bit so the step to install the Google client library now if you remember we just created uh, on our main folder there is another Google folder so remember we have Google folder and we will work here we, we will install the Google Analytics API's uh, PHP library here so after you install the composer just go to your desktop and click on run here let me show your windows so you have run here and then type let's open the cmd and then press ok and then in this window here let's go to our to our google folder so let's type my my google folder is on um, C partition and then I have their exam and then I have HD docs and after that there is Google click enter now if you open the Google page you see there is um there is a code which we should use after you install your composer just copy this code from here and paste it in your window and then click enter I mean press enter and then wait now the composer will download for us this Google uh, PHP Google API library and then after that we will be able to use it uh, on our dashboard and uh, on this page actually you can also find instruction and example this this is a hello analytics.php file which shows how to this is an example on how to use this library and for now they just let's see what kind of data so they pull the data from from today 
from seven days ago until today and they get the session from the account let me see all right so it's done now let's go to our folder and let's check you see here we have a, a vendor folder and this and this vendor folder is actually the library this composer just downloaded it for us and this is a JSON file you can remove the composer JSON file and delete it and then the other one to compose it and leave just just this file which is uh, the key from the Google all right guys that's it for today see you in the next video where I will talk about this libraries configuration and about this JSON file we've just got from our service account thank you for watching and see you in the next video tutorial